Hillsboro. This is a new hill going down towards Space Mountain. Just cleaned it up. This whole ridge going along brings you out into Space Mountain. And some guys came in, did some cutting over here, and that Space Mountain is now a little bit easier. Um, some would consider it a blue. Um, I'm going through it on my single speed, which is geared very low. I'd say around, I think Rick said about a 32.17. Uh, we'll see if we can make it up the hills on this and Space Mountain. Uh, pretty clean out here. I came through with my blower a few days ago. Man, it's super dry. I can only do it in spurts. Here we go. I'm going in. I'm going in. Come on now. Come on. I need some momentum here. I need some momentum. Here we go, Space Mountain. Something cut out right there. Get up. No. I didn't even have the. Not even. Alright, so that's the first hill, real pretty wide. Uh, the stones are gone. It's all dirt now. It's all dirt. I scraped it out as best I could. It's real dry. We need some rain. Second hill climb. Nothing's different here. It's just real dry and real loose. I can't make it. I can't even make it up the second hill with this gearing. You can. All right, go ahead. You have two drops. You have the the new drop, uh, which kind of someone made here, which has become kind of popular. Um, and it kind of aims you right at that tree, I'd say. I'm thinking about clearing it on the left there so you can kind of slide your bike. It really leads you into another tree. Um, there's not much I can do with it. But I am planning on clearing a little bit of that for whoever wants to take this line. Myself, when I come up here, um, I just, this is, was the line right here and someone added that, which is perfectly fine with me. I guess it's a bit of a drop and a bit of a slide, but people like that kind of stuff. I think it looks cool. All right, let's go down into, uh, the rest area part and there's a new line in the rest area and we're, I'll show you how that is now this is all blown clean so it's running good running fast here Space Mountain still dry and dusty I scraped it here is the new line now the problem we're having here is uh, it was getting kind of washed out here and so what I did was I just basically moved all the leaves and such over. The old line is up top with the roots. You can still go up there, or now you can go down low and just sneak back up between the trees. Um, so you can either stay up top here, I left everything the same, or down top. The rest area is right up there, still the same. Um, we'll turn around. Because this leads into uh, this, I think the hardest climb in Space Mountain, the switchback climb, which I probably won't make on a single speed. Let's get a look at this single speed. Oh yeah, that's single speed. 32.17, it, this belt, that's what Rick says it's about to be. All right, we'll take the low line. No real roots down here, but you got to make this climb up. Over roots, it's not too bad. I've done it on the fat bike and it's actually pretty smooth. It clipped in. Oh man, I'm in trouble now. Get clipped in. No momentum, nothing. Get up that first. Get up. <laughs> 
No, I don't. Anyways, it's clean in here, blown clean. There's the switchback climb. What's missing in here is there used to be a, a stump right there, about 12 inches, whatever high, eight inches. It really wasn't in the line of, usually you go around it and in between those rocks. Uh, so it really wasn't a problem. Uh, more of a psychological thing but without it there it's uh, maybe it hit your pedal or something now it's gone it's a lot easier to get up um i actually kind of you can go right over it right over top of it right up through the middle of this coral rock and that's a switchback climb a lot easier now a lot smoother it's clean um i expect some faster koms out of some of the fasties definitely I uh, should see some faster KOMs for sure not out of me though not with this gearing all right this is all still the same just a little bit more erosion on the switchback climb going down nothing new it's just clean clean and mean Oh, we got one of the last climbs on the Space Mountain coming up. And if I don't make that, oh, watch out. All right, this one, you can get some a run at it. No, no problem here. There was a, I caught out a limb that was growing onto the trail. Oh, wait a minute, we got a short climb right here. A short but sweet, let's see if we can get up it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go down. All right. No problem there. Nice and clean. You can see everything. Oh, watch out for that water. All right. Uh-huh. Here comes a, another climb along the sign. No problem. The gearing here that I, I fixed that uh, kind of I guess people are using that board as a kind of kind of a deal there kind of going across that board and using it as a I don't know playing around or kind of a bridge you know kind of go you I don't know but I kind of worked on it and cleaned that up it looks nice all I did in here was just out in this upper part, blow clean, blow clean, and trim anything that would poke you in the eye or grab your pedal. So Space Mountain's running. This is uh, my. April, I don't know, 7th. Still waiting for some rain, might get some rain this weekend. Here's the last climb out, the rock climb. Oh, I'm gonna try and make it with this. Uh, no problem with this gearing. That one, you just gotta, you gotta put your wheel in the right spot on that very last rock climb out of Space Mountain. Now the segment doesn't actually end if you're trying the segment until you get out to here. Right out here. Here's where the segment ends. Here's the sign. If you're that's where the exit is. Here's the entrance down there where we went in. And here's the exit. Space Mountain. All cleaned up. <sighs> 